FireOS is one of my favorite Android OS on PC, and the new update has only solidified its place. We have a lot to talk about, so let's just dive in. But remember to like this video and subscribe for more tech content. So firstly, with FireOS 20, we have a brand new kernel, the Linux kernel 6.6, .6, which means that we get extended support for newer Intel processors up to the 14th generation. We also get special support for Intel Pentium and Celeron CPUs. This major move means more computers and laptops, which are both new and old, can run FireOS without any issues. And coming to the issues, the new kernel also solved the issues of Wi-Fi, and in my case, the touchpad. So if you had any of those issues, make sure to update. And Another major update is for the performance enhancements. FireOS now supports the Vulkan Graphics API compared to the older OpenGL. And according to them, this new update will provide up to 50% more performance boost as it did in their benchmark tests. As a user, you should be able to feel the performance boost while browsing and using Android apps and playing Android games. Now this next change is for all the Note lovers, especially those who use Notion. FireOS Notes has taken the normal Notes app to the next level. The user interface is very minimal yet functional. Just like Google Docs, we can write a full-fledged article here with headings, checklists, bullet points, and add attachments like images, links, tables, PDF, etc. We can even add various tags, links, notes to each other, which makes it easier to organize and find a specific note when needed. For even easier management, we can utilize folders, collections, and journals. Also, they have added the FireOS AI in the Notes app, which can also help in summarizing, extending, proofreading, converting, and so much more. Of course, you need to sign in to be able to use the AI features. However, the notes are stored locally unless you want to sync them with the cloud. After signing in, you can invite other members to share and edit notes as well. Lastly, we can also import templates from Notion, which is pretty good. And another big change is the integration with the Microsoft Office 365. We can now open Microsoft Office files right from our file manager. Yes, you heard that right. Now all we need to do is connect our Microsoft 365 account to OneDrive. And now every time we want to open any of those MS Office files, we can do that right from the file manager without opening the Microsoft app. This integration has given some sort of power to the file manager and is a very welcome update. The next change is also special and it's for all those who hate reopening apps after the restart. That's right, now FireOS remembers the last open apps and tabs in the browser before a shutdown or restart. It is called Welcome Recap and we can set it to ask every time to open the apps or just set it to open automatically. This feature can save a lot of your time as you won't forget what you were working on before the shutdown or restart. Now if your laptop has a bad or low battery backup, at least it should be better than mine. If it's not, then keep it plugged in. However, for the rest of you, can utilize the new power saver mode. This mode tones down the animations, reduces background tasks, and overall uses less computing power. This should add another hour worth of battery to your laptop, hopefully. Now another notable addition is the safety reset option. This would be helpful for those who want to undo some FIDOA settings or remove extensions which may be causing unexpected issues. Safety Reset, unlike the traditional PowerWatch Reset, doesn't wipe the Google account, passwords, or bookmarks, which means it's a safer way to reset your system for optimal performance. Lastly, for multitasking users, we have Snap Groups. You can snap an app to either the left or the right side and then choose one of the remaining apps to use in multitasking. And with the Snap Group, we can easily resize the app size for either of the two apps and continue using them without any issues. A great addition, however, since FireOS is also focused on touch tablets, there should be an option for app group so it remembers the app used in multitasking mode, just like we have in other Android tablets. So that was some of the big updates and changes in the brand new FireOS 20. I'm quite happy the devs are constantly improving and adding new features. Make sure to check my dual boot guide if you want to try it for yourself. So that was it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.